first comedian, very funny guy. Been doing this a few times. Let's get up for Blaze, everybody! My dad used to say, look at her legs. Go all the way up to her ass. I don't know where the fuck they don't go, but all right, cool. <laughs> thing is, my dad left, so there ain't no message to my mom. The cool thing about that is, he ate a lot of ice cream on a giant waterbed watching Friends Marathon and Walmart movies. <laughs> Which I look forward to, I'll be honest with you. I mean, whatever happens to Stephanie and Rick and Joe, fuck yes. I mean, I mean, Joe, he's just a dick, doesn't he? But now we keep up the Kardashians and, oh, they're great. But the thing is about it, it was actually always tough living with them because my mom always expected me just to still be some kind of boy. So when I was actually watching the TV in her room, because they always got all the good channels, HBO, Cinemax, you know, all the sexy stuff. And I was ended up watching I Love Lucy. And the thing is, my mom opens up the door expecting me to watch porn, and then I just turn the TV off. And then my mom's just like, what the fuck were you watching? <laughs> I'm like, no, mom, it's not what you think. No, what were you watching? No, you tell me right now. You give me the remote. No, 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 no. You don't want to know. So as soon as the thing came on, the song just popped up. Da, 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 da. I mean, immediately I just had to tell her, I was watching porn. That was not what I was watching. <laughs> You don't understand. I, there was three dicks and one girl. This was not it. I used to love, you know, hanging out with my mom, my sister. But the thing is, they were always on their cycle. So that actually, like once a month, I was the only guy in the house, so I get chewed out. You know, like my mom's just had to separate with my dad, my sister, you know, boyfriend Tommy's being an asshole, and they just come home just irate. And I could smell it in the air. No, I, I, I could smell it in the air. Like I just knew it was gonna be horrible. I'd be up in my room, just like, just trying to be quiet, watching I Love Lucy. Just like, all right, Lucy, come for me. Just, Tell me about your life. The thing is, I used to get nervous with that shit. Cause then my sister would just come home, just. The fuck, I hate men. Tommy, he's being a dick again. He's telling that one bitch, that waitress, you know, fuck her, you know? What's she, she got nothing on me, no ass, what is this? Yeah, flat, fuck her, all right? Mom, you know what I mean? Yeah, your, your dad, tall asshole, he's still, who the fuck is Blaze? Where is that womanizing 11 year old son of a bitch? That's actually That was some hard times. <laughs> I, when I was when I was with my girlfriend, I kind of had to give some things up. Just because she's black. You know, I used to have these beautiful picture images of girls. How is it going to be out? Like, how is things going to be? Like, I always saw on TV how they'd have, like, they wash the car and then they have a water fight with a wash in it. Like, oh, look at you, look at And then they start kissing and making out. I wanted that, but she's black and I cannot fuck up that hair, okay? <laughs> Well, I'm dead, all right? She'll beat me with that hose, all right? She would run me over the fucking car we just washed, and then maybe wash it with the blood, all right? Ugh. No water balloon fight, that can't happen, all right? What about skinny dipping late in the middle of the night? You want to be, you know, you know, really crazy? Let's go skinny dipping. You know, she had to get her hair done, take it for a fucking hour, you know, put a you know, fucking nightcap on, do this whole thing, fucking saran wrap the fuck out of that for a while. You guys have a wonderful night. Really good talk to you.